is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to Casual Currency. This is a show where we talk about personal finance, we talk about investment, we talk about cryptocurrencies, markets, passive income, but we do it all in a casual and informal manner that we can all discuss just like with friends sitting around the table. But today is something especially cool that we're going to be talking about, and that is how to turn your hobby into profit through YouTube. I mean, what is a hobby? A hobby is something that makes you excited, or it's cathartic, or it makes you happy and joyous. It's something that you would do without prompting, without someone to tell you to do it, without being paid or forced to do it. Something that brings you joy regardless what else is going on in the world, something you would do with no one else watching. But what if someone was watching? And what if someone was paying you to do that thing that you would have done regardless? And that's what we're here to talk about today. And we're going to be talking about YouTube and how you can make it happen. And by the end of the video, I'll be showing you my own personal channel on my own personal hobby that I grew from nothing into what is now a monetized partner YouTube channel that pays me money every month, sometimes regardless of what I even do with it. That's what we're going to be talking about today, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So if you're watching this video, you probably have a hobby of your own, and I don't know what that is. It could be flying drones, it could be playing chess, it could be woodwork or metalwork or art or drawing. Whatever it is, it's something that you enjoy, and chances are other people enjoy it as well. And chances are you might not think it, they might want to watch you do it and learn from you. So I'm going to show you how I started, what my hobby is, and how we turn that into something profitable. <laughs> so this is it, right here. And it might not seem like much, but this is what started it out for me, which was a love for fish. I got myself a beta fish and for some reason I just enjoyed it. There's a line from Fast and Furious where the guy says, um, I have ADHD and there's something about engines that calms me down. For me, maybe it's a little bit more OCD, but there's something about fish and aquariums that brings me peace and brings me catharticism um, and I really enjoy the process and the maintenance of the tank. And that's what started off my journey to what is now my YouTube channel. Chris Aquariums. And as you can see, we're at 1,350 subscribers, fully monetized, fully partner YouTube channel with a total of 817,000 views. But let's take it back. How do you start? How do you take your hobby? And how do you begin? First things first, take a look at these dates. We're talking about eight years ago here. First of all was a little science project that I enjoyed and then I started posting a couple things of my new fish and really all it started with was having something that I enjoyed that I wanted to share with other people who might enjoy it as well. This is what started it all, a 40 second clip of my new fish that I thought was pretty cool that I uploaded onto YouTube. And as time went on and I started getting new tanks and getting excited about it, I'd put it up on the platform. And at the time, if I got seven views, I was lucky. And it wasn't about the views. I didn't even know you could make money from it. The point was I enjoyed it and I wanted other people to enjoy it as well. So I uploaded things that made me happy and that I thought were cool. And before you know it, I started getting a couple of views. Then one day, I got an old tank from a family member of mine that I wanted to do up and I wanted to show the small little community that I had the progress and that was the first time I turned the camera around and decided to show them and document the process of building my new fish tank. Hey guys, I'm Chris. Uh, this is one of my tanks back here. I'll take you through everything there. So let's first have a look at the tank and then uh, we'll take you through what we're going to do with it. So this is the tank. As you can see it is pretty disheveled. And that was it, a simple, crappy video filmed off a crappy phone that started me into the world of creating content for people to consume, bringing them into my hobby and letting them enjoy it with me. And before you know it, that video turned into 84 more. 
Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Chris Aquariums. Today, we're gonna to be doing some fish tank maintenance. What's up guys, and welcome back once again to Chris Aquariums. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I'm super excited, I'm super keen. It's gonna be a great day today, but before we get into that, how good is this reef tank looking lately? Wow. And I started covering everything, from the tanks that I had to other tanks that I enjoyed, when I encountered problems, how I dealt with those problems, how my fish were doing, the new fish that I added into the tank, every step of the process that I found was interesting. Turns out, at least some of the internet found interesting as well, and the views just started racking up. Now there's another part of the process, which is how do you get a successful YouTube channel? I know channels that have posted over 400 videos and only have 40 subscribers. And the reason is there is a formula and there is a way to do it that's going to build your hobby and your channel into something that can actually make you money and that people want to watch. That is going to be the second video on this series. So if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel, make sure you don't miss it, and we'll get into the detail of how you do it in the next video. Now I must say, there is a timeline to it, and it does take patience, and it takes your 10,000 hours to perfect your craft, and a bit of time before you get to where you want to be. This video here, Welcome to Chris Aquariums, was the first one I made where I actually thought I could make something out of this, and perhaps build it into something. That was three years ago. So keep in mind, fish is not the biggest hobby in the world, it's quite a niche, but it took me three years before I got to the video that I really wanted to get to, which is this one over here. Chris Aquariums reaches 1,000 subscribers. And at that point, I had reached 1,000 subscribers, 40,000 watch hours, and my channel was monetized, and I was making money every single month from the videos that I already had and the new ones that I put out. The third part of the series is going to reveal exactly how much money I make every single month, probably every single day, uh, for having this channel at 1,000 subscribers and 1,300 subscribers and what kind of money you can maybe expect. So again, if you want to see that, subscribe and we'll get into that in one of the later episodes. So that's about it for this episode, guys, but there is one more extremely important thing that I want to mention before we close off. And that is this. The page you're looking at is my sort by most viewed. And the point that I want to make is put everything out there. You never know what's going to hit, what's going to make it big. Something from as simple as a Finding Nemo fish tank that I saw at an aquarium, moving my fish to another pond, even a video about snails. And last but not least, sea monkeys. A 17 second video that went up to 419,000 views. Whatever it is that lights your fire, whatever it is you want to put up, put it up there. You never know what's going to hit and what's going to make you big. And that is it for today's episode, guys. I hope I have inspired you, taught you something, shown you something, maybe made you want to do something of your own. And don't forget, there's going to be episode two and three of this series where I show you how to make a successful YouTube channel and lastly, exactly how much money you can make when you hit that sweet spot. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel to see those episodes and more. Like the video if you found it interesting or if you found it helpful. And I can't wait to see you once again next time on Casual Currency.